I used Google AI Studio and Nana Banana Pro to build these two apps in just a few minutes. A professional photo generator and a viral thumbnail maker app. And I didn't write a single line of code. Guys, watch this transformation. This is a basic product photo that gets turned into a professional studio quality image. And this boring thumbnail becomes a thumbnail that actually gets clicks. And guys, look, I get it. Building apps used to require months of learning how to code and how to do all of these things that the people are doing. And honestly, most people just give up before they even start. But with Google AI Studio, you can literally describe what you want in English and it builds the entire app for you. It's called Vibe Coding and it's changing everything. But here's what nobody tells you. The real power isn't just building the app. It's knowing how to edit and also how to customize it so that it does exactly what you need. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google AI Studio and Nana Banana Pro to Vibe Code two complete apps and more importantly, let the app actually work. All the exact prompts that I'm going to be using in this video are in our free school community, guys. The link is in the description below and it literally takes 10 seconds to join. So what are you waiting for? Grab those prompts right now so that you can follow along and build these apps along with me. Plus, you also get access to all of our other AI automation resources and our cool templates. But right now, guys, let's get over to the PC and let's start creating this. Okay, guys, so now let's build our first app, okay? And that is going to be the product photo enhancer, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is you need to head over to Google AI Studio. So I'll have the link in the description below, guys, so it's so easy for you guys to find. And guys, once you are there, you are going to see the interface where we can start building everything okay so now here's where all of the magic happens so you can grab this exact prompt from our free school community again guys link is in the description below but this will be the first prompt that we are going to be using okay and it's going to be build a web app with a file upload for product photos add a transform button that uses nano banana pro to convert basic product photos into professional studio quality images with perfect lighting and clean background and display the results below okay now guys I want you to watch this so I'm gonna hit generate and Google AI studio is literally building the entire app structure for us right now it's literally creating the interface it's integrating nano banana pro it's doing everything for us that we asked of it to do and all we did was give it one simple prompt okay guys so now for Google AI studio it just created all of the code for us okay and I want to show you what it actually built okay because this is super important because we are going to be editing it later. So guys, as you can see, it created the HTML structure and it built the upload interface where users can select their product photos. And there's also a transform button that triggers everything. And down here, guys, is where the transformed images gets displayed. Now, you don't need to understand every single line of code that you are seeing, but let me show you the key parts that you can edit. And this is what makes vibe coding so, so, so powerful, okay? Right here, you can see the upload button section okay so this is where the users interact with the file upload so here's the transform button and you can see the text that appears on it this section right here is the image display area where the results show up and this is the most important part this is where nano banana api calls happen you can see that the prompt gets sent to nano banana pro right here and it says transform this product photo into professional studio quality images with perfect lighting and clean backgrounds. So this is what tells the AI exactly how to enhance the photos. So now let's customize this app because this is where you make it your own. And honestly, this is much easier than you think, guys, okay? Say you want to change what the button says. Maybe instead of transform photo, you want to say make it professional or you were all whatever you want. So you just find this section right here and this is where it says the button text and you can change it to whatever you want. So there we go, guys. 
Do you see how simple that is? So now let's say you want to change how the AI transforms the photos. Maybe you want it to be more dramatic or you want it to have a specific background color. And then you can just go to this section where the nano banana plant is and you can edit it. So I'm going to add with dramatic shadows and a pure white background to this plant that right here. And now every photo that gets processed will have those characteristics. So you want to change the colors of your app. Maybe you want a dark theme or or you want your brand colors in it, then you just go to the styling section right here and you can change the background color. You can change the button color, you can change the text color, whatever you want, okay? So see what we're doing here? You are literally editing a real professional app right now without knowing how to code at all. So you're just changing a few words and values and the app does exactly what you want. Now, I mean, be honest. Isn't that kind of cool? So now guys, I'm gonna show you an absolutely amazing feature, okay? And this is inside Google AI Studio, okay? And it's called Annotation. So here's how all of this works, okay? So you simply just screenshot your app and then you can do it directly on any area that you want to change or you want to enhance. It's honestly, it's just that simple. So watch me do this, okay? So I'm taking a screenshot of our interface right now and I'm going to do a circle on the bottom right corner of the screen where I want to add something new. So now, here's where all of the stuff starts to get super cool. I mean, in my personal opinion. So I'm going to prompt AI Studio to create a tips section right there in that area that I selected. So the tips section will give our users guidance on how to write effective prompts so that they can get the best looking AI generated product photos instead of users guessing and experimenting randomly. And that's basically just gonna waste a lot of time. So they'll have built in advice that teaches them the secrets to getting stunning results. And there we go guys, that's it. I just do a circle, I describe what I wanted, and Google AI Studio is going to generate the entire tips feature for me. It's literally doing all of the thinking for me, basically. So there's no coding required, just annotation and a simple prompt, and this is the power of visual prototyping with AI. And I mean, if you look at this, guys, it's pretty cool, and at the same time, it's pretty scary how, how cool this is. So now, guys, we have that, so let's build our second app, okay? This is gonna be the viral thumbnail generator, and we're going to use the exact same vibe coding process. So I'm going back into Google AI Studio, and we are going to start a new project for this thumbnail app. So now here's the prompt that I'm gonna be using. Again, guys, link is in the description below, but now I'm typing out, let's see. I'm gonna say, build a web app for creating YouTube thumbnails, add text inputs for video titles and main text, a drop down for style with options, bold, minimal, dramatic, and playful. Add an optional image upload for faces or products and a generate button. Use Nano Banana Pro to create 1,280 by 720 viral style thumbnails with the user's inputs. Make it eye catching with high contrast and bold colors. Okay, sounds pretty simple. And at the same time, going into enough detail. So I'm hitting generate right now and watch how fast all of this builds. Google AI Studio is literally creating the entire thumbnail generator right now for us with all of the input fields that we that we basically put forward. And the style selector, the image upload option, and it's integrating Nano Banana Pro to actually generate the thumbnails for us. And there we go, guys. In the time it took me to say that, there we have it. We have a complete thumbnail generator app that would normally take weeks to build and somehow we just did it in a couple of seconds. Now, I think that's pretty cool. So let me show you what Google AI Studio built for us, okay? So I personally feel, guys, that understanding what is actually happening makes all of the editing that we are gonna do so much easier and makes us understand how, how cool the tool is and also we then know what the capabilities are, okay? So if you take a look here, guys, you can see that we have the text input fields right over here. One is for the video title and the other one is for the main text that goes on the thumbnail, which is two of the key things in creating a thumbnail. There's our drop down menu with the style options and that is bold, minimal and thematic and also let's not forget about playful. So here's the optional image upload so that people can add their face or their product, okay? And there's also a generate button that creates the thumbnails and now let's customize this because maybe you want a different style option, okay? So guys, I'm going to find the drop down section right here. And as you can see, guys, there is the four styles that we have, but I want to add two more, okay? So I'm gonna add in cinematic and neon as our style options. 
And I just typed in that year, guys, and I followed the exact same format, and now the users have six instead of four, which makes everything always a lot better when you have more options. So now let's say you want to change your thumbnail dimensions, okay? Maybe you want to create it for Instagram posts instead of YouTube thumbnails, then you can just find the value right here, okay? This is where it says 1,280, by 720, okay? And you can change it to 1080 by 1080 for Instagram. And you can basically just see how easy that is. And now here's the most important part about this. The nano banana plant, this is what tells the AI how to create your thumbnail. And you can customize this to get exactly what kind of style you want to get. So right now it says create eye-catching vital style thumbnails with high contrast and bold colors. But Let's make it better. So I'm going to add with thematic facial expressions, professional lighting and text that pops off the screen. And now our thumbnails are going to look even better, even more professional, and most importantly, more click worthy. And now guys, it's time for us to edit our app, okay? So I'll add in this prompt right here and I am generating that now. And guys, there we go, look at this. I just added the entire annotation system. And now when users upload an image for their thumbnail, they can do boxes to show exactly where they want their faces to be positioned and the main text where it should go. So where to add emphasis and basically all of that. So this is huge because thumbnail layout is basically everything. For those of you who know about like how important thumbnails are, knowing exactly where to place everything is so, so, so key to being successful. You need the text to be in the right spot. You need the faces to be positioned correctly. And now the users can actually control all of that before even generating it. So you're basically getting the best possible result before you even start the generating process. You're not fixing it afterwards. So someone could upload their photo. They could do a box in the top right hand corner and say, maybe put my face here. And then they can just do another box in the center and say, put the main text here. And Nano Banana Pro will follow those instructions perfectly. This is the kind of feature that professional thumbnail designers charge you extra for. And we just added it with just one prompt. So all that guys, now we have both of our apps. So we've customized them. We've added in all the advanced features. And now let's make these apps live on the internet so anyone can basically use them, okay? So both of these apps right now only exist in Google AI Studio, but we're about to deploy them in GitHub, okay? And we are gonna make them accessible for 24 seven completely free. So in Google AI Studio, you are going to see an export or a download button. It might say export code or download project, but just check for any of those guys. And that is basically just depending on your interface. Then you're going to click on that and it's going to download your app as an HTML files. So now let's get these on GitHub. So head over to github.com. And if you don't have an account yet, then all you can do is just basically create one. It's completely free guys. And just going to take you like a couple of seconds. And then once you are logged in, you're going to click the plus icon in the top right hand corner. And then you're going to select new repository and this is basically creating a folder of or for your app and then what you're going to do is you're going to give it a name so i'm going to call mine ai product enhancer for the first app so you can make it public so that everyone can see your code or you can make it private if you want to keep it all to yourself so don't worry guys about any of the other settings just scroll down and then click create repository and boom guys there just a couple of seconds now you have your repository created so now you're going to to see an option that says uploading an existing file. Then you're gonna click on that and now you just drag and drop the HTML files that you downloaded from Google AI Studio and then you're gonna drop them right here and GitHub will then upload them for you. And then you're just gonna add a commit message, um, something kind of like initial app development and you're gonna click commit charges and your app code is now on GitHub. And there you can see guys, it's pretty simple to do all of this and in the space of just a couple of minutes we basically created two apps and your app is now on GitHub. Now all we have to do is literally just deploy and your app is ready and we did all of that in just a couple of minutes. And there we have it guys you now have two fully functional apps a product photo enhancer that turns basic photos into professional studio quality images and a viral thumb maker generator that creates click worthy YouTube thumbnails and people are charging $50 plus per image for these exact services and you can build any kind of app that you want guys the sky is honestly the limit all of the thumbs that I used all the exact code snippets and all of the templates for even more apps like this are in our free 
school community guides. The link is in the description below, guys. Go and join right now and get access to everything. And guys, if you had fun with this video, then give this video a like and also subscribe, guys. And if you are serious about building AI tools and automations that actually work, then guys, like I said, you are definitely going to want to subscribe and also turn on those bell notifications so that you never miss another upload, guys. I am going to be dropping tutorials like this every single week and I will catch you in the next one.